Italio Calvino is quoted as saying, your first book is the only one that matters. Perhaps a writer should write only that one. That is the one moment when you make the big leap. The opportunity to express yourself is offered that once, and you untie the knot within you, and then, or never again. <sighs> Kami. No, really, he, he, he was a commie. Look it up. It's on Wikipedia. Uh, and that's shit advice, by the way. And I am Evo Terra. And this is the Books and Beer Hangout. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff Moriarty, and welcome to another episode of the Book and Books and Beer Hangout. We are plural tonight because we've got a guest. Our topic tonight is first-time author lessons from somebody going through the rodeo for the very first time. Do I need to reveal? Welcome, Eric Bale. So I, I so let's uh, talk about uh, go around, talk about uh, beer, and then we'll have you uh, introduce yourself and your beer. So I am drinking a Rail Slide, a uh, winter imperial spiced ale from local. Brewer Santan. Uh, Eva, what do you got cooking tonight? It's a palate wrecker. Yeah, no, uh, palate wrecker. Yes, fantastic, wonderful beer, and that's what I'm drinking from Green Flash, and it's very, very good. Eric, what are you drinking, sir? I have a Southern Tier Double Milk Spout Milk Stout tonight. Nice malty little number. Excellent choice. Excellent choice. All right, so that does it for the beer portion of the show. Let's get into books. Since that's the big part of the books and beer hangout, Eric's joining us because, as you heard Jeff say, he is a first-time author. He went through one of our digital publishing classes, which stay tuned towards the end, and we'll talk a little bit about that uh, and some new things we have offering coming up. But, uh, but Eric, I know that you've been writing for a very long time, and you finally have just received that final moniker of being a published author. So I'm curious, um, what was the goal? As you started this process, what, what did you want to do? As I started the writing process or the publishing process? The publishing, yeah, right. I mean, you've been writing since you were six, like everybody. But when you wanted to get published, <laughs> what was your goal? Uh, the goal was it, – it meant really just, you know, when I read pulp stories as a kid, that's what I want to do, the same way people get into movie making. So it really just meant having my stories be out there and other people enjoy it on the way I did. Let, let's cover that. We kind of jumped in without doing uh, introductions here. So um, what is, you know, you, you have a couple books out now. Uh, what are the titles? What's the genre that you focus in? Uh, the first one is West of Dead, a Nathaniel Kane adventure. The second one is Grinder's Keeper, a Nathaniel Kane adventure. Obviously the same guy. And they are kind of the classic pulp adventure stories uh, that call them weird westerns because they are westerns with, uh, you know, the supernatural elements thrown in there. So if you like Robert E. Howard, I think would probably be the biggest writing influence on him. Okay, so you're not just, you know, first-time author. You've got a couple out there, and you're working on even more in the in the chain, right? Yeah, yeah. The one I'm working on now is also a Nathaniel Kane adventure. There's other things kind of on the percolator, but right now it's Nathaniel Kane. All right. So as you were getting started and, and deciding to take the shift from just uh, writing to actually getting this stuff out there and getting published – what did you expect was going to be the most difficult aspect of that? What were you dreading or most worried about? Uh, there's, there's a lot of dread. Uh, the biggest dread is that absolutely nothing will happen. Nobody will buy it or read it or care about it, and you will just be flailing about in cyberspace like a crazy person. Uh, that didn't happen. Pretty uh, good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> which, you know, already, when your expectations are there, you know, if, if two people buy it, you're, you're pretty much doing dances of joy, uh, which I have done. Uh, so that was, that would be the biggest dread. I suppose the second biggest dread would be that you, you know, that, you know, you mentioned everybody should write a first book. Well, I think probably anybody can write a first book. Yeah. And after that, you want to keep writing them. I imagine most writers think that they're going to run out of ideas. Uh, at the beginning, that's a, a, a panic moment of, I have to get something else out or, you know, people will forget about me, won't hear me. <laughs> yeah. 
But what, what was the thing that made you shift from saying, you know, I'm going to do this, that finally pushed you over the edge that said, I'm going to bite the bullet and get my stuff out there? Ah, uh, it just follow your dreams, passion kind of stuff. I mean, you know, it, it, it started small and just keep getting bigger and bigger. You sort of reach a saturation point where if you're going to be serious about it, you, you know, why are you writing? If you're just writing for yourself, then publishing doesn't mean anything. If you really want that to be a, a real story that other people share, you know, you, you have to publish somehow. And so you ask yourself the question and I said, I want to do it. So that gets to the to the dread level, and I and I get that, and I and I, I like the approach of you saying, you know, eventually, look, we've just got to do it. And I think all published authors reach that point at some time where they go, you know, screw it, I, I've just got to do this. It's the the classic shit or get off the pot I, I idea of things, right? And you do that, and you did. So so congrats on that one. But I'm curious, you know, what, as you went through the process, you you had these ideas in your mind what, of dread, and those are all gone. But what is it that actually wound up being more difficult? The, what what had you not planned for that you faced and went, damn, that's hard. Uh, the, you know, I am self-published, so you know, like anything, you 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 see a finished product and you hey you say hey that's that's awesome. You know, I can probably do that, and then you see all the you know all the levels of minutia in the case of publishing. It's you know not just tons and tons of edits to get it right. But just the mechanics of you know typos and uh, you know I went through the quick and the red class, it, you know, just using styles to get something from your computer to Amazon or wherever to make it look like an ebook. So I mean, there's just a huge learning curve when you go from hey I'm writing stories to hey I'm publishing stories, right? Which you know you can let that be dread. Or you can just let that be part of the experience and kind of embrace the crazy. And that's what I've done. Uh, you know, I would say at least every day I learn something. And, and it sounds to me like these aren't things that are terribly difficult for you to learn. It's just, damn, there's one more thing that I've got to learn. There's another layer, another step in the process. You mean I just simply don't take my Word document and upload it? Why? Yes. Why not? <laughs> Sounds easy. And I could see that being overwhelming and discouraging, and yeah. it really shouldn't be. Now, now that you've been through it a few times, is there one thing that you still kind of go, uh, it's, it's your least favorite, picking a cover, picking a title, the formatting? Is there one thing that you're just like, ugh? Uh, titles kill me. They, I, I've never been... Uh, it's like genre, you know, if you read somebody else's stuff, you have a million ideas for great titles, you know, with your own stuff. Eesh. You know, you just don't know. I, I have already signed up for the <laughs> the EPUB title seminar, so. <laughs> right, well, well, that'll help. Well, let, let's go the opposite in, end of that question. So we talked about what was difficult, and for you it was just simply there's one more step that gets involved. But surely something was, was easier. Some of that dread that you were facing wound up being not real, or there was another step in the process that was like, this is a total breeze. What, what, what was that? Uh, stuff like this, you know, just actually being okay with saying, hey, I'm a writer and I write books and, you know, I mean, if you're shy, uh, some people who know me might not believe it, but I'm a pretty shy guy hmm. and, you know, you have to be able to say, I wrote this book, you know, buy the book, uh, you know, you talk about social media, you know, a lot of people aren't comfortable with that. It, it's not something I would normally do, but once you sort of get into that, you know, it just sort of fell in. I didn't have any real problem putting myself out there. You know, I, I wonder if it's because, and, and, and I don't know if this is the case, Eric. I'm just positing this as an idea that is it because you now you have something to talk about? Now you have something worthy of, of sharing, and not in a self-aggrandizing, you know, buy my book, buy my book, buy my book kind of way, but just simply, hey, there's this thing that I've done. It's interesting. Chances are you haven't done that, and so it's an easier way for you to have a conversation. Uh, it is. very. It, once you publish, you know, it feels surreal that you're actually doing it, but it makes the fact that you did do it more real. Uh, so that sounds a little circular, but, you know, you can say, hey, I'm a writer, and, you know, I'm on I'm here, I'm there, you hold up a book, and people don't laugh at you. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like how you kind of make it sound like uh, an AA meeting. 
Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm Eric Bale. I'm no. an author. <laughs> you know? yeah. Hi, Eric. <laughs> Tell us about your book. Well, it, it's true because I mean, if you're in a writing group, it's you know the clandestine meeting, and everybody's doing their little you know projects. And if you're outside of that writing group, you don't have the kind of shared lexicon. So, you know, what are you going to talk about? But, you know, people know what books are if you've <laughs> written one uh, and they love to talk about it, you know. Hmm. So I'm curious, as, as an author who's been involved with the writer group, um, how long? How long had you been in a writing group and never published? How many years, I'm assuming it was years, did you spend in that writing group and, and never had published? I think it was it was over five years. I think it was six years wow. that I was in a writing group before I published. And my first title, I think, was uh, it was a nano. Actually, I did not win, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I was two and a half, maybe three years before it actually got published. So I wrote it. I wrote another one, the other Nathaniel Kane story. Went back and you know kept reworking and reworking. And so, yeah, it was a good two years from that first story being written to actually being published. I, you know, it didn't have to take that long necessarily, but yeah, there's quite a few years behind this. So you've got people who might be sitting out there in writing groups right now, or mm -hmm. just you know have some written material or content that they're collecting and they're trying to make uh, the, the plunge. What is the biggest tip that you can give them uh, somebody who's looking to become a first-time author? Other than just pulling the trigger and doing it, uh, don't do it. You don't have to do it alone, so don't do it alone. I mean, there's resources out there. Uh, you know, the EPUB class, you know, I, I, I plug you guys all the time because <laughs> that was a huge acceleration. And, you know, that's a that lets you know kind of some of those steps that you might not know and really just takes you from not being there to being there. All right, so, so it, it is December 2012 as we're recording this, and, and that means that in the, in the last, oh golly, what's it been, six months maybe? You've released two books? Yeah, I released the first one July 1st. Right, June, okay, June so, 1st. Yeah, so, it's, so it's been almost exactly the, the six-month mark here. So does that mean you'll have four more Nathaniel Kane adventures out in 2013? Four more, so a six total. Yeah, uh, it would be pretty close. <laughs> uh -huh. it's, it's good to establish a cadence. That's a good thing, yes. and more importantly, it's better that we have it recorded here that you said <laughs> you are actually going to get that done. <laughs> well, four total. That should be easy. Well, six I, total. <laughs> I like that it's seasonal. You can have the Nathaniel Kane Spring Adventures. <laughs> <laughs> spring yeah. Adventures. A special Christmas episode. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Star Wars episode. It can't be worth it. <laughs> All right. Well, Eric, thank you very much for being on the program with us today. We enjoy hearing your story. Hopefully, the folks out there got a lot from it. I hope so. And anytime. Excellent. Thank you. Um, so for those of you that are listening out there, so as a reminder, um, if you didn't get it, we sent out our very first ever email blast. Ooh, wasn't that exciting? If you didn't get it, that means you're not signed up. Go to epublishunum.com and, and take care of that. Inside of that email, you got lots of information about a free seminar that we're doing that Eric alluded to. We're going to help you figure out what those book titles really ought to be with a little bit of science mixed in with the art of all of that. And we also announced the dates of the classes that we offer one Eric mentioned our quick in the red six week course as well as a four week class for those of you who've been writing for a long time ready to get published all the details are inside of that you can visit epublishunum.com for details on the classes and also to get signed up for our newsletter for the next go around if you want show notes to find out more about Eric and his books and links to all that kind of stuff that's at booksandbeer.com you can't miss that the Books and Beer Hangout is a production of e Publish Unum. We help authors survive and thrive in a digital world. For a complete list of our educational offerings, including classes, workshops, and seminars, please visit epublishunum.com. For Jeff Moriarty, I'm Evo Terra. Thanks for watching.